Oh boy, I just could not help myself. So we're going to be playing more I Want to Be the Guy today. As you can see right here, uh, well, I mean, actually, you can't see it here because I somehow hard, like, soft locked myself on my first run. So we're probably sitting at over 400 deaths and uh, like an hour 51 minutes instead. But we do have Mike Tyson beat in this one, so we got that going for us. Let's just go ahead and oh boy, get this shit started. Okay. Oh, uh, here's the good old music. All right. Let's see how well I can. I'm just gonna see how well I can remember um, how to play. And then I immediately fucked that up. So unfortunately, we don't have a uh, co-host today, so we're flying solo. Unless uh, somebody joins up and uh, w one of the boys joins up and they want to help me through this disaster. Okay, at the very least... Okay, yeah, there we go. I was going to say, at the very least, I kind of remember... Kind of remember how to go through this area just for shits and giggles we'll see if we can still remember how to nope excellently activated the speed on that there's a reason I titled the stream as such because we are going to be hearing the first five seconds for every single song on this soundtrack so well that you'll be able to remember it Oh, come on. There we go. I gotta jump sooner. I keep letting that one, the middle one here, land on my fucking head. Come on. Oh boy. I was perfectly fine and then I killed myself. Okay, that one that one shocked me a little bit there. Like part of me was like, wait, should I maybe move away from the ledge? But I didn't. And I was punished accordingly. See, I remember that there was a hand there, but I just didn't maneuver around it properly, so of course we've been punished. There we go. Back up top here. I forgot that bird was here. Stop! Stop! St okay, we're good. So, I think the way to get around this is just jump over the apples. At least I think that's what we did last time. Holy shit. And then one more drops. And then we gotta jump in between the ones there. So, let's do this. You gotta commit to it. And it's a little scary, so sometimes I uh, have trouble committing there. Is there something here that would kill me? No. Oh yeah, now I remember this part. So we gotta like gun our way through like 50 fucking zombies. Okay, what's the best way to do this? Yeah? Okay. So it looks like a good way to get through that is wait until they do like the respawn. And then just send it. Ooh. 
police. Alright. Choking out here because I'm getting a little, little greedy. I want to jump that sooner. That was pretty good. Now I wonder if we can use the bird there to kind of like cheese our way up. Oh man. Yeah, let's try and use like the bird to maybe like scale up there. Since the bird can indeed push us. If we can skip a whole area, I will be more than happy to do so. zombie was like stuck for a second. Looks like that one might be permanently stuck? Nah, he broke out. Okay. Okay, so let's see here. Pick me up. Up. Okay, bird. You're, you're not doing what I want you to do. You must die. Let's go for it. Ah, oh, I should have just ran. I could have got by that zombie before he uh, respawned. Huh, well, that's gonna be interesting. Can I just jump that without concern? I can. Okay, I just jumped into my death, though. Why didn't that bottom spike croc? Okay, didn't do it again that time either. Oops. That's a lot of zombies bunched up right there. Let's go for it though. That's gonna be rough. That top part looks like it's gonna be real ass to try and get through. I I haven't even like looked through that whole area. Is there a safe point at the end of that? It, it feels like there either A needs to be a safe point at the end of that or like at the start of the next screen. Because this is a lot to go through. committed there and as such I was punished okay like what am I doing wrong now I mean I ask what am I doing wrong now I can clearly see what I'm doing wrong but like why are my fingers not work that there's a respawn next screen then. When would be a good time to go? I guess now. Wow, that zombie really did not want to die.
I didn't think I was gonna make it that uh, the jump on that last one, so I was kind of just confused when I was actually there. Okay. At the very least, though, if we were able to do it right then, it might not be as hard as I thought it might be initially. Question marks. Jumped a little too high there. Okay. Ah, oh, you little bastard. I hesitated on the trigger, and as a result, I was killed. So you need to be a little more on the right going up to that last one since we'll probably be going left given how I've set up the timing on that. You know, if there's one thing I can thank this game for, it's a game that, like, nobody's going to question why you aren't commentating <laughs> as much on. Because you're going to have to be sitting here focusing pretty damn hard on not dying. Like, the most people expect out of you, I would say, is uh, a few grunts. Uh, maybe a scream or two when something bad happens. Uh, and other than that, no, they're just gonna sit there and be like, Oh, yeah, no. They're trying their best to parkour around the most difficult puzzles in this game. I'm just gonna kill some zombies, why not? So you can kill them pretty quick if you focus fire on them, but... Zombies there. Go for it. Okay, hold up a sec. Right here. I almost confused myself a little bit there. Which I've noticed I do quite a bit in this game. Just confusing myself with my jumps. I looked away for one second. Okay, I'm still alive though. The reason I looked away is like I was catching a glint on my glasses from like a light in the background. And it looked like something was going across the uh, screen on the OBS monitor. I was like, wait, what? There we go. Okay, so you can't do like a full up jump there, you gotta do a partial jump. Okay, maybe a full starter, but then like a hop for your second. Otherwise you go too high, the platform goes from underneath you, and you're left back on that second platform. I was thinking maybe I could rush that. Um, ultimately, though, probably better not to.
If only the apples could kill the zombies. Let's let them go by. Let those two go by. There we go. I did it again. I jumped too high. I need to stop doing that because I obviously can't get that jump consistent enough. So we're wasting more time dying and having to respawn than we would just taking the safe route there. I don't like the padding of zombies on that. There we go. see where they spawn. I think I can do this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So a full jump followed by the baby hop. I gotta remember that. That time I was just like, can a full jump potentially get me there without having to do a second hop? Which you can't. It is too small. Shoot faster! They come! Alright, my excuse for that one is I don't have a good excuse. I just clipped onto the platform and didn't think that I had. So I got served straight to a spike. My brain is slipping. All right, come on. Let's get the uh, let's get the old muscle memory back in here. All right, let's not fuck up on the first part here. We had a bad zombie run. We don't want that to send us on our uh, complete death spiral. Okay, this is good zombie RNG. This is bad bird RNG though. Wait, why is there a spike? Oh no, that's the yeah, that's the first spike that always falls. I I, I guess I'm always like thinking about the future spikes over there that I forget one even drops here at the beginning. I killed you. Alright, wait for these two to go by and then we'll send it. A little too far to the right on that one. that spawn. Yeah, we would get a pinch there pretty hard. Yeah, these spawns are kind of bad right now. Oh, fuck it. I think it's probably about as good as we were going to get. 
There might have been a better time, but I don't know, it was kind of hard to read through all that. Why do I keep jumping? Stop jumping. You're safe. Foolish boy. Shoot! Alright, let's go for it. I mean, we really didn't expect to survive that. A, a suspicious jump? Something sus? Yeah, that's not gonna fly on my airship. At the very least, it looks like it's not too hard of a jump to make. We just gotta aim for the moon at that point, and we'll be fine. Well, that zombie spawned inside of another one. You can hardly tell that there's two there. Leave me alone, bird. I've done nothing wrong. Right. I ran a little too quick there. I might have actually been able to survive it had I not. But... I also had a couple of those undead breathing right down my neck. You know, I wonder who the next boss is gonna be. I didn't go far enough right there to actually hit the apples. Actually, I don't think I moved at all in the air. I think I just air stalled. Just let myself get devoured. Yeah, that was pretty good. Less good, less good, less good, less good. I feel like there probably is a way... Oh, damn it. Do not shoot. Uh, I feel like there probably is a way to use that bird to boost your way up top and skip, like, that whole section with the zombies. It just kind of feels... right, I suppose. What the fuck? We just fell like all the way down. Did not expect it. Breeze. Breeze. Okay. I thought about rushing it and then I was like, wait, that'll just get me killed. Didn't jump. Didn't jump, did you? you? Foolish boy, you could never be the guy. But sir, I would love to be the guy. Look how much work I put in. Oh, I could be the best guy. No, oh boy, you would never be the guy. Buh. 
I need to get better about um, being able to like split second reposition my brain as to where I am. Because on like the times where I miss a jump, I just die because I sit there for like too long trying to recalculate. Oh, I seem to have missed my jump. Let me think about what I'm supposed to do. When in this game, thinking for any longer than two seconds is going to get you killed. Alright. There we go. Nice. Actually, save... Like that. There we go. Yep, figure that was the case. Both of them, alright. So... Is it at all now? Maybe, hold on. I, like, I feel like that's just about possible. Okay, now. Leave it. Okay, so that zombie spawns when you activate the hand. Oh, no, it doesn't. It spawns after a second. So, is that hand hitbox? Yes, it's accurate. Well, I almost made it out of there. The big enemy is approaching according to data. It is identified as Mecha Birdo. Uh oh. That is Mecha. Hold up. What's the bit here? Like some shy guys. Oh, they're they act as birds. Got it. Okay, we're not gonna be able to get another round of bird out here. Okay. So one thing we really gotta watch out for is being too far away, or being too far along the platform before we make a jump. Oh shit! Well, that just started to go super quick. At least the run up to it isn't too much of a bitch. I almost feel like you can make that jump there. Back up or go. So phase one is just introducing you to like, generally the mechanics here. So we want to stay on this egg for as long as we can, so that way we can actually get some damage on. And the shy guy should be flying. Yep, there you go. Okay, is the eggs being shot when I jump? Because if so, then we can manipulate it. It almost seems like it. So let's see here. Oh. Or maybe it was just like awfully convenient. But yeah, it must have been just convenience. Or not convenience, uh, coincidence. Oh, okay, here we go. Where are we supposed to shoot now? That's like a good proper jump there. All right. Uh, 
Oh. And another high up egg. It's not really high up, that's kind of like... Eh. Now. Yes, that one will work. Come on, give me a neck of the egg. Here we go. All right. Yep, I activated it. That's gonna kill me. I think I was hitting Mechaberto in the eyes though. So that might be the next location to shoot. Okay, yeah, so you can just skip Mechaberto then. What does that do for you though? Wait, is that an upgrade maybe? Because it's part of a gun. Hold on a second. I would like to check that out. If I could not die. That, that part would probably be useful. Damn it. I guess through that area it looks like it's a bitch and a half to go through. Might be better for me to do Mechaberto at least until I've got it consistent because it looks like I might have to go straight from that area to Mechaberto. Like we get it. yeah no damage on that rotation oh. this one's where you can get some good shots in wait for it there we go Ah, oh, man, I just barely missed that. Yeah, you have to, like, perfectly jump that in order to get up there. guys. There we go. Alright, we probably could have been sent phase two. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. As you can tell, uh, the eye beams caught me off guard. Alright. You know, for only being like a little over half an hour into this uh, run today, like today's session, it's uh, pretty cool that we're actually fighting another boss already. Right. Get one more. Actually, we'll probably get like two. Ah, we actually did hit the antenna there. Alright, 
And then one more burst. That's not enough. It's too far. Damn it. Got up there once and I haven't been able to get there again. Not good damage rotation that time. The shy guys threw us off pretty hard. Alright, I think this one's gonna activate it. Yep. Become active. Okay. We just truly flood that one. It's kind of curious if maybe. I wonder if like a full jump from the side they can actually make it. Probably not. With a shot though. Well, that was just embarrassing. Yeah, now you have to jump from the bottom there. One thing I wasn't seeing though with Mecha Birdo here on phase 3 was where the damage spot was. Unless, like, basically the whole hitbox is damage. Which I suppose is possible. So I think for this we have to. Oh, uh, that's gonna be a bitch and a half. I think you have to um, walk off the front and then do a hop up. Clicked off screen there. Well, actually, no, what happens is they have a Windows key. And it's like, you want to have pop up, yes? Like, no, I, I'm in the middle of a boss fight, actually. Pop up is the last thing I would like. Okay. This might be one of those ones where we proc it right here. Oh. That thing's like one shot. Be able to get it right here. Yeah, there we go. 
That is a harder one to make the jump of because you have to be at the ledge for that. There we go. There's a bitch and a half. It sucks even more that you have to make this run every single time to get to it. Like I said though, it's not a terrible run, but it is annoying. So it looks like there's an effective range on the gun. It's like the ones at the edge weren't really looking like they were hidden. Don't expect to be down here already. What the hell? I also noticed that Mecha Birdo's eyes weren't actually glowing there. I what that was about. Really? That's enough to send it next phase, huh? I do need to practice now while it's safe how to get on these missiles without hitting the tip. I genuinely thought I was dead there. Seems like it's pretty easy to get there when you... Do. You want to try and stay on top of the damn thing it looks like. Is that it? Did you actually do it? If so, that wasn't too hard of a fight. Oh, was it? Alright. Well, at least we know we can do Mecha Birdo now. I'm interested in is my prize over here. Like, I honestly think I could beat Mecha Birdo more consistently than I would be able to beat, like, Mike Tyson. Because I still don't know how, like, Tyson glitched on the wall in my last run when we fought him. Please. See, like, the interesting thing is, like, there's a certain timing to it that I just am not getting, obviously.
Come on. There we go. That is going to be so brutal. I might look up if it's even worth doing this. Or if we should just fuck off. So I get the feeling that this is going to be a little too... I don't know why I just let that happen to me. So there's like some kind of hitbox to that? I was bonking my head on those lines. Alright, I I think I caught that right in its kill uh kill box. That's not gonna work. Jumped way too soon. Wow, I think that's the first time I've caught the, like, the lip of that in a while. That was abysmal. It's like my brain decided, nah, you don't want to jump up there. Delayed that like second jump by like over half a fucking second. Please! You must give this to me. You know, I wish I'd never figured out that this was up here. Because it would have made my life so much happier. Not having to try and get up here for multiple minutes on end. Why? I, like, genuinely am confused as to what the timing is for this. Because I feel like I'm getting it just about every time, but then I'm off by, like, two pixels. That is... You have to do that perfectly, I guess. Okay. 
hold up a sec. I I, I want to look up this is, if this is even worth it real quick because oh I get the feeling I'm gonna start spending all stream on this. I want to be the guy. Gun parts. Secret items. Yeah. So this is. This isn't a secret. Oh, okay. Well, there's a secret item there. Okay. At the area before the Mecha Birdo boss fight, instead of falling down in the pit when the moon crashes, jump over the other side and jump. Then jump down over the platform and the spider. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, well, what's the point of the secret? Secret items are hard to find hidden around the game. Six items in the collector appear in the room of divine transportation. Dying key items. The items are found in every save, even if you only got a secret item in one save. All secret items do nothing, are purely there for fun. Ah, I see. In that case, fuck that. <laughs> we will be going forward in the game instead. I'm not about to 100% this game. Are you fucking crazy? Beating this game itself will be enough of an accomplishment. Oh, the unfortunate thing is that means we could have actually just uh, saved after the Mechaberto fight, but... I mean, I guess it's time to put my money where my mouth is. I did say that Mechaberto didn't seem very hard, so... Let's see if I can beat her in one go here. Actually, now that I think about it, isn't Birdo like a dude? I can't quite remember. Like, I remember thinking that Birdo was a chick, but then being surprised that they weren't. Maybe? I don't know, my Birdo lo my, my fucking Birdo and Mario lore is uh, pretty sparse, believe it or not. PLEASE! They kicked me in the air. So it took away my double jump. Okay, I have three attempts to do this uh, before it makes me look stupid. That was pretty good damage rotation. I wonder if uh, if your shooting's on point, can you potentially do the whole phase one right there before you even have to deal with any of the shy guys? Feels like that might be a possibility. I'm not surviving that. I'm genuinely surprised that the moon doesn't kill you on the fall there. Like, that seems like something the game would 100% without a doubt do. Alright, I look like a fool now. Also, it looks like Birdo's eyes are determined by the phase you got to in the previous attempt. So we got to phase two before and Birdo's eyes were red. We died phase one this time, so Birdo's eyes should be yellow? No, they stay red. Interesting. I bet when we break Birdo's eyes too, though, it's going to be a situation of those are going to be broken in any subsequent phases once we, if we die. Let's have confidence. Let's not say when we die. Oh shit, what the fuck? The double egg threw me off my game so hard.
The Mecha Bird is approaching. Ah, damn it. Psyched myself out and ran away. Did I collide on that falling block? close. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I still hold that Mechaberto isn't super bad. Uh, it's just I'm bad. Like, at the game. Like, I suck super hard sometimes. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Didn't like that, did you, game? Alright, let, let me mute the game real quick because it's going to be loud as fuck for a second. Lower the general volume there and. That was fun. There we go. Continue. Okay, so. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. This one isn't active though. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Right, I think you have to make that whole jump in one go. So... Damn it, we hit the corner there so we didn't get a double jump. Okay, you can't jump on the back platforms there either. There we go. Annoyingly, we can't save though. Wow, really? Orb. Yes, we got the. Oh! What the fuck? Okay, there's turrets now. Oh, my head. Alright, so they fire on a delay. I can kill them. Good. 
Right, 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 right. Uh. Huh? The game hated that. Okay. Uh. Don't know why it crashed there. Usually it only crashes when we're reloading. But that one it crashed mid jump. Mouse off the screen, and let's go. So I think we gotta, yep, just like that. Yeah, frame perfect crash indeed. I get the feeling that that spike's going to be rather annoying. Okay, I was doing fine at these ones earlier. Why are you doing this to me now, game? Please. I think I'm letting go too early. Alright, I let go too late on that one. How is this possible? I do this like perfectly, like four times in a row, and now I can't do it once. Crazy shit, video games. That was the secret, you just gotta breathe. Crazy. Oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> that is going to be very annoying. Okay, game is having some issues now. It's consistently crashing for some reason. You got this? Yeah, I sure hope so. I'm like using that spike as a fucking way to wipe my ass. Alright, there we go. I'm genuinely surprised that I'm alive there. I like fell between the burst. Use that double jump way too soon there.
took a second there because I was trying to like count in my head how long I had between the bursts so that we can actually come up at the right time. I think I got a way to do it. You have to like perfectly avoid that first spike in order to get past the rest of them. Yeah, sorry about the uh, notification thing there. Should hopefully not happen again. Hopefully. You know, it's always like two or three things between two save points that just really fuck you. This one, I almost don't care much about. It's right next to the spawn. If I fuck it up, not, not much time lost. These, however, well that's unfortunate. Plus, the closer something is to the spawn, the easier it is for your brain to remember how to get past it. Game was formulated to torment. Yeah, no kidding. To be honest, I'm even surprised I'm this far into the game without having quit by now. Not that I don't do bad with the uh, difficult games, but there's a difference between difficult and this. Well, this is interesting. That's not gonna work. I'm waiting for the punchline when this becomes funny, you know what I mean? Like they're really yanking my chain here, but... I guess the punchline will be the payoff for when I hopefully beat the game. Oh! That was close. Had the weave there. Oh man, it sucks when you do something like that and it looks like you just ran your face right into a spike for no reason. Cause like you didn't get the jump. I kind of wonder how many people have beat this game, you know what I mean? Like, because there's always going to be like the people that are like hardcore. Wow. <laughs> that was bad. That one was really bad. Just rode that fucking turret. There we go. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. 
All right, we're having the death uh, death spree right here at the beginning. Every so often, we have to cleanse ourselves. You know what I mean? Just get all the death energy out. That way, when we make the uh, attempts on the future ones, we're good. All right. Hooked it a little too much to the left there, uh, right as we came out, meaning that I fell directly onto the spike. Not my proudest moment. So if you don't get that guy on the way down, I don't really think you have a chance to get it. Many hundreds, thousands at least have beat this. Personally, if I were to pick it up again, stream it. And put Red Bow on, no shame. Me do not know what Red Bow do. What do Red Bow do? I'm assuming it's like some kind of handicap since you put no shame at the end. Oh, that was kind of cool. Could that be a sign of uh, the good things to come? Get a pretty red bow for easy mode. Ah, I see. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, in my infinite wisdom, I decided I was going to try and beat the game uh, out the gate on hard. Um, don't know if that was a good call, but... It's kind of what I've uh, committed to at this point. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let me just like sacrifice myself once. Alright, now got this 100%. I want to be the guy god should be appeased now. Oh my god, that was the closest I got there. <laughs> oh, nice though. I mean, the thing is, we are getting better, and that's what we gotta. That's what we gotta tell ourselves every single time to keep ourselves sane. I mentioned it last time I played, but the funny thing about yeah, I killed myself there. The funny thing about this is I wouldn't even say like I like I know this is your typical like rage game thing, right? But I wouldn't even say I get mad at this per se. I just get like progressively less sane. If that makes sense. Like, I just it just starts getting funny and like like a a hopeless kind of funny. Alright, I just need to get the timing on that jump when we hit the bottom there. And then, uh... Hopefully there's a save point on that next part. Perfect attitude to have. Yeah, I feel like that... Like, I feel like if you, if you, if you are quick to anger and, like, start slamming things, your shit will be broken before you even hit Tyson. much beans on the left there. The best I want to be the guy plays with those who have a few screws loose, yeah. I mean like this, the thing is like this is even the hardest difficulty, right? Like the hardest difficulty is where I mean, like, I'm talking out of my ass here, but uh, isn't it where there's even fewer save points, so you have to do this even more perfectly? 
Like, I'm sure there's people who just do this shit. No death. Casually. At this point. But those people have to... They, they see this stuff when they close their eyes. Like, it is seared onto the back of it. Oh, almost. I don't think anyone does no death cash, but definitely does a good with fair consistency. Yeah. It, it just impresses me sometimes when you like see some of the shit that people can do like uh, I, I went silent to focus there for a second to do that, but then I butchered it completely So I might as well have just kept talking there. Um, there's the one guy happy hob I think is his handle on twitch uh, who did like all of dark souls plus like I think blood Bowl? can't remember. I know he did at least Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 all the way through without being hit once. I'm like, that that shit's just insane. Like, I've played those games and at no point did I ever think, hmm, you know what I want to do? Do this without being hit at all. <laughs> Psychotic. But like, hey, more the power fucking to him. That's it is definitely noteworthy. What are some other crazy feats in gaming? Uh, there was recently where Moist Critical did like, what was it, Halo 2? Or he didn't do Halo 2, he put out like a bounty for Halo 2 Lasso. No death, I think. And that went like multiple months being unfulfilled until someone stepped up to the plate and actually got it done. I can't say I know how hard that is. I... I have I beat Halo 2? I think I've only done, like, campaign-wise Halo 3 and Reach. I had the Master Chief Collection, so maybe at some point I should try Halo 1 and 2. That could be a fun stream. We get a couple boys together and do like some legendary a couple skulls for the fun. Just go through Halo. Hey, there we go. Halo is my good thing. Now what do we have here? See when you just stop thinking about it sometimes it's better. Now this looks like it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Very precise movements required, it looks like. Surprised took some uh, that long to step up to that one. Yeah, no. Like I remember seeing it like round about the time he posted it, and then after that it was just like, wait, what? Still hasn't got beat. Oh, it's, it's sorry, foolish me. I I completely forgot that Ryu is the one powering the fan there. I should have remembered, you know. <laughs> Oh, god damn it. Oh, you know what? I should have saved right there. That would have been smarter. That would have been smarter. Oh, well. Honestly, the way down didn't seem like it was too troublesome. It's just getting up here initially. I say that and then I do that. Some of the stuff in this game when, like, you die is pretty funny. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to time my jump so it does that. Okay, I think I know when I need to jump. Now. Well, the, the part where I... Ah, so it doesn't save the state. Okay, got it. So you do have to do this each time. That's fine. In the grand scheme of things, this setup isn't too bad. 
I am going to die many times, but it's really just muscle memory and knowing just about when you have to do this. I honestly find some of the examples where like it just outright kills you to be funny. Oh, I got footed there. Like, I remember earlier when the big moon falls down and, like, tries to roll you over. Like, right before it happened, I was, uh, I was talking to someone and I was like, Oh, oh wait, you can go down? Hmm. Maybe we go down there. Uh, I remember I was talking to someone and I was like, That moon's gonna fall down and I feel like I'm gonna have to Indiana Jones style her away from it. And then it happened. <laughs> uh, did that? Did me being able to foresee that happening stop it from killing me? Absolutely not. Was it funnier because of it? Absolutely. So the question is, I don't think I can actually make this jump. I think I might need to go underneath them. I mean, I can give it another try, but I. I think, yeah, it's going to be way too difficult to actually weave ourselves in there. So I might try and draw it down and see what the area down there looks like again. Because I kind of forgot what it looks like. Reason being, uh, when I'm jumping from that fucking ledge there, I don't think I can actually get my double jump. Huh. This is interesting. So what's the play? Wait. I have an idea. <laughs> so crazy it might work. <laughs> okay, well, hold up a minute. Before I get to my idea, let me actually get the first part of this done. Alright. Bang. And... Aggro him. Please. Please. Thank you. Alright. Well. <laughs> Might be here just a little bit. <laughs> Depending on if I can, uh... Get the timing on this jump properly. Die, Ryu! Wait, he's alive. Hmm. I'm coming for you, bitch. Oh, hey. Nice. To quote the announcer, great job, do it again. Yeah. At the very least, that one isn't too... super difficult. A little annoying? Sure. But uh, that's kind of par for the course at this point. Motherfucker. Think you're gonna drop me like that? Alright, what is the play here? So we can go over there. Ideally, we want to end up there, it looks like. Okay. Let's get it. Wait for that to go through there, and now go along. Wait a minute. Ruh row. <laughs> Kinda thought I was just dead there, so I sat still. Oh. Okay, so that doesn't outright kill you. What the hell? Does it mess with your controls though? Well, that'll kill you. <laughs> Just 
swoop me right off the stage there. Okay, that one was all me. Casually getting there in one go and then investigating there. Look, I thought it looked, it looked like the glass was broken. I thought maybe just, just uh, gotta take a look there. Can't let it just sit. Also, I feel like it's a phenomena that like I've witnessed on multiple people in multiple cases where for some reason your first attempt is always going to be like your best attempt. And then the moment you start trying to think, okay, well, how am I supposed to do this? I think we got to restart there. You just, you fall apart. You flop. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Okay. Well, we're just gonna, we're gonna miss that jump there a little bit. It's important. Oh, there we go. Ah! You know, I don't think I've ever actually played any, like, Castlevanias. Like, the only one I think I've played would have been... Wait. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was brutal. Um, I think the only one I played was one that was, like, on the Xbox Live Arcade. And was supposed to be, like, a multiplayer Castlevania. And even then, I didn't actually get it. I just... Played the demo? <laughs> ah, you fool. You've put me in the prime place to do nothing. Truly, I'll be able to succeed this way. I wonder. Hold up. Alright, let's just go ahead. And... I was wondering if maybe I could get it to, like, shove me up into the sky. And upsies. Alright, come on. Show me your moves. Alright, that was his moves. <laughs> Up. It's been a while since my own words have come back to bite me in the ass. But uh, I suppose it had to happen at some point. So that one usually is coming right about there, so... DON'T DO IT! Whoop, there we go. And so when we hop on this platform, we'll have you. can't do that. That's cheating. You can't just fly at me like that. I'm easily startled. Alright. Her broom is out of control. You know, I'll... That was almost cool. If I didn't get, like, splattered by that first spike, at least. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll believe that her broom is out of control, given that she hits that wall and then falls. Like, honestly, I feel like I need to call somebody, like, to check her out, make sure she's okay. Though I don't know who you'd want to call in the case of a out-of-broom accident. Um... I don't know why I forgot about her. We were literally just talking about her. Like, I don't think you want to call, like, the fucking... the police for that. The Ghostbusters? You think there's ghosts? Like, she had a... she got a demon in her broom? And that's what, like, caused it to go out of control? God, imagine if, like, demons were, like, super real. Or just any spirits, I suppose. 
And like you're just driving along the road and then your car gets haunted. And you're like, well, shit, guess I'm going wherever the car wants me to go now. Would that be grounds to, like, if you were driving to work and your car got haunted, would that be grounds to, like, call your boss and be like, hey, I need the day off. Uh, car got haunted. I think it probably depends on where you work. Because I'm sure some bosses would be like, mm-mm, it's not a good enough excuse. I need you in here in the next ten minutes. It's lunch rush. This looks like uh, not fun. Alright, so I want to drop on the top one here. Oh, okay, well, we're still good then. You see, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Like, I thought I was gonna get brushed off, but um, the bottom one made me think, oh no, I'm safe. I can't get hurt. Uh, and then the, the second one said, no, you can. Thank you, Medusa, you saved me from death. However, I would like to restart. <laughs> okay. Right. At risk of exploding and looking like a fool, I feel like I have this part mapped out in my head. Yeah, there was the there was the part where I looked like a fool. <laughs> I hate how almost immediate it comes back to slap me, you know? Like if it was like a few seconds later, it would be one thing. But it's always right after I say it. Alright. Well, well, well. Looks as if I'm falling to my death today. I have a very healthy karma. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Got that bitch on speed dial. <laughs> Second, then jump, go hop. There we go. That's not too bad. All right, let me just watch this for a second. All right, I think I'll go now. I, I got scared. I, I thought that one was a little too low and I was going to rake my feet across that spike and uh, explode. So I jumped. You know, as you do. Um, that, of course, was a mistake. No, don't leave. Whoop, there we go. We've thrown off the time continuum. Everything's fucked. Alright. Over. On. On. So we can actually just wait for that to go and then do that. Oh. I feel like we missed someone there. But I won't think too much into it. Not dead. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's what I get for opening my trap. Okay. You know, I think you you know what I think that was. I think that was like a Final Destination esque. Like death was like, how'd you do that? No, no, no. 
run it back. Or just general incompetence, either or. I think it's funnier if we consider the alternative, though. I knew you were coming this time. You can't fool me twice. Or... Four times. I forget how many times I've died to her. Or because of her. Dun, 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 dun. I really wanted that. I, I really wanted that. So much so that I was willing to throw. You know, at the very least, music is good. The, uh, the level with the zombies was uh, going to drive me insane after a certain bit of time. But uh, this, you know, I can just... It's good shit. That was almost an example of my panic getting me killed, but we did it. Ah, shit. Here we go, baby. True preach, Dracula. Come on, man. I was trying to enjoy the cutscene. You gotta do that. Die, monster! You don't belong in this world. It was not by my hand. Run it back. I do it right this time. It's like in a game where there's fucking QTEs and you forget for a split second and <laughs> like set a controller down and you're like, oh, this is a really cool cutscene. Alright, do you got more of those? It tracks! Oh no! Well, it's good to know that it is a, uh, a fairly loose box. Right, so we can skip the cutscene, good. I'm sorry, what? do got the power of the moon. I guess it should be s no surprise, really. But the amount of times the moon's been my uh, bane of the the bane of my existence in this game, uh, I should be very afraid. See, we we play in Toho now. <laughs> Dude, he's just busting out new moves. I can't handle this. Whoa, I'm alive. Framing apple. Framing Epur. Okay, does he like choose a moveset or something to start? I feel like there's a couple of moves here and he's gonna like just start introducing more. Okay.
We can do that. We can do that. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. I think we skip the cutscene right as he's saying that, so that way we get a little little guys trying to step up. Brought us a small spoiler. I think I'll give it a few more attempts and then maybe a spoil. Oh no, here we go. Or is this like a spoiler, like external to Dracula? Oh, okay, here we go. You had to, like, it wouldn't help me. Oh, okay. Yeah, fuck it, go for it. Strike the burning. Yeah, all right. Send. Oh Jesus! Here we go. Can't believe he like fucking telefragged me. That was brutal. I feel unsafe at this time. Tried to jump over those bottom apples and it uh, didn't quite work in my favor there. His moves are entirely random. Yeah, I can kind of feel that. Stop! No! Fire, can you please... Well, this is a... That one seems kind of brutal. Because you're not super quick. So if you want to reposition to get better spot on that, it's not super easy. Damn. I'm trying to see if I can maybe... Oh. We didn't, we didn't skip the cutscene there. We just said, no, I want to go back to the checkpoint. The checkpoint feels like a safe area. You know, I can't wait until there's one of those save beacons. You shoot it and then it shoots you. Like, because that totally feels like something that would be in this game. Realized they were a little too too, too tall there. That's too cheap even for this. I don't know, man. I feel like the save point killing you <laughs> it feels honestly a little on brand. It would be after like an easier area. You know what I mean? Like you'd go by and you'd be like, huh, a save point already? That's interesting. And then boom. Uh -oh. I don't like being this close. I knew he was gonna cast fucking moon! You bitch! Stop teleporting onto where I'm jumping! Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! Uh, didn't even get the hits there. Back up. Can I jump on these pillars? No, we can't. So we have to be like in the middle to actually get hits here. Whoopa! <laughs> that was not great. Yeah, I can see how this would be the bane of people's runs. Ah, pff, silly me, I should have moved to the left there. Alright. 
You know, I can get behind you doing that twice in a row. Buh. I must have like skimmed a pixel there on one of either the uh, plasma balls or an apple. Alright. Oh, those those balls there are difficult. Cause like we have to be on this platform to do damage, as far as I'm aware. Cause you have to shoot them in the face. Body shots don't do shit. Ah, we actually got by on the middle one there by jumping it instead of having to coward out. Stop! Why? <laughs> Why must you teleport right on top of me? This is the worst thing. Alright. Bruh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You know, Dracula, it's gonna be very embarrassing for you when I win. It's gonna be like, how did I lose to this child? I'm not gonna try and jump that. I'm just gonna go under like that. But you know, he was true to his word. Playtime was over, so he just said, "Die." Okay, right here. I think next, like, uh, don't. All right, teleport further away. That's not further away. Bah! I can't see. It would be just a little easier if I could clip down platforms, but I, as far as I'm aware, I can't. Kid is no joke, Drac is shaking his boots. You know, I guess when you think about it, Kid is no joke. Dude just respawns and then comes back. Like, it really is a case of, you can beat me as many times as you want, Drac, I just gotta beat you once. This is unfortunate, okay. I don't like true power. Whoa! I actually made that. Whoppa! Uh oh. This could be interesting. Oh, okay, now we got two tracking things. Brilliant. No, that's fair. God damn it. We were doing pretty well that run, though. Oh my god, how am I alive? I, I thought I was dead like three different times. In that one attack. Before time, I was dead, but the other three, I could have potentially survived. Is he going to do the ball? No, this is Apple. Uh-oh. This is a little too spicy. <laughs> I took too long to decide what the best way to handle the ghosts were there, and uh, Dracula said, uh, floor is lava. 
which uh, kind of takes out one of the big places I like to go when the ghosts are following me. Alright, so as long as I'm like quick on the reaction for those flaming apples, I can actually get more damage out of it. Well, okay, Dracula, you kind of made me... He who hesitates dies. Yeah, that's... Oh, but... Okay. That didn't happen. <clears throat> Let's try that again. He who hesitates dies, Dracula. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's pretty true. This is his true power. Well, actually, no, the moon's the true power. The apples are just scary, that's all. Where are you talking? Wait. Yo! Well, that changes things. <laughs> Didn't know you could shoot those ghosts. I just been letting them walk towards me. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. There was a reality there where I survived because I think the fire dissipated right at the end there. Die, monster. Their giant cherries get my lore straight. No, I will call them apples. This is the hill that I will choose to die on. Stop! Okay. Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! Uh-oh, there is true power. Well, wait, I can do this. Stupid ghost. Try and beat me now, idiots. Well, the true power was not great. The most accurate term is delicious fruit, so it could go either way. You know what? I'll take the happy middle ground of delicious fruit. My, mostly because I can call the f uh, the flaming ones he throws uh, flaming delicious, and that's that's pleasing to my brain. That's too close. All right, my guy, you've done true power three times in a row. Let's uh, <laughs> let's. Back it up on the power meter.
I knew he was gonna do the fucking fire. Oh yeah, I've heard of Flaming Delicious, that's a Nebraska variant. I don't know if you're playing with me or not, I don't... I don't know... I don't know my fruits. All I know is I like fucking green apples and that's about it. Uh oh, here we go. Alright. I will stay here. Can't hurt me. Alright, let's not activate playtime over yet. Let's let him get this attack out of the way. No! Alright, let's wait here a second. We cannot wait here any more seconds. We must run! Why? Why, Drac? Why? Okay, fire is done. Good. Whoop! Alright. I don't like how playtime's over. Can we go back to playtime? Playtime felt uh, safer. I feel like those uh, ghosts get way quicker when he's getting lower on health. Because it seems like it takes more bullets to keep him at bay. The more I shoot him in the face. Whoop! You little bastard. And of course you would do that. Of course you would throw flame and delicious right at my head. It's been a while since we've seen True Power. I'm glad to see you. Okay. You know, that time I did notice that there is actually a delicious fruit in that following cloud of flame. So that's interesting. Oh, my bunny hop didn't do too well there. We'll definitely say Dracula is the hardest boss thus far. I would like to go back to Mecha Birdo in terms of difficulty. Dude, you cannot do that. That is not fair. <laughs> Why? Double tracking all the way. The delicious fruit are a source of many unnatural and dangerous abilities. Yeah, my the ability I get anytime I bite into one is the ability of fucking death. So we can kind of get the ghosts in sync there. Alright, I want to come back over here.
I pressed the wrong button, I meant to shoot there, and then I jumped. My fingers got a little confused. Gotta boil them. Can you boil a flaming. Oh, a flaming fruit? I feel like that would be difficult. I'm not the guy, I don't make the rules. Hey, you know what? That's fair. Maybe that's why I want to be the guy. Maybe I looked at a, like, delicious fruit and was like, hmm, you know what? I want to eat that, but I, I don't know how I can eat that properly. And so now I'm trying to change the rules of space and time such that I may have my forbidden fruit. I'm super afraid. I, I'm, I'm paralyzed in fear. Can I leave? Please? I, I don't want to shoot that. I feel like something terrible will happen if I pulled the trigger. Really? Am I... That's all it is, baby. It's that simple. All right, give me a save point. I'm... To enter the palace of the guy, you must collect the six units. Use warp to the beginning. Save, there we go. Oh boy. Yeah, no, those ghosts definitely get way more persistent. Like, you can visibly see it where when I was shooting them, they were just saying, nah, we're gonna get right back to where we were. Versus in the beginning where I could reliably push them to the sides of the screen. Okay, well that's three bosses down. Um, it's telling me to return to the beginning. Can I like walk? Yeah, I kind of figured that that would kill me, which is why I saved before I touched it. So, if we hit, if we warp to the beginning. Ah, now I gotta go down this route, I guess, because I went left before. Okay. Well, you know what? I tend to like to keep these I want to be the guy streams to about two hours thus far. So I think I'm going to call it there. We got two bosses down. We got Mechaberto and we got Dracula. So I'd say that that's a pretty successful bout of uh, runs there. Plus I remember this part and being very confused how to get by down here. So <laughs> I think I'm going to let it be for now. Oh, sure. Okay. We're halfway to becoming, well, not even halfway. We're halfway to getting to the chance to become the guy. Oh. Loving the blind playthrough. I'm I'm glad. I'm the only thing I looked up was if that like secret piece that was before Mecha Mecha Birdo was like something like an upgrade, and then it was like nah, that's just for funsies. It does nothing. And I said okay, goodbye. I'm going down the hole. So that's just about all I've looked up so far. I'm gonna try and keep it that way. That way it's more satisfying when I beat it. So, next time we'll be streaming will be Tuesday, around about 10.30 p.m. EST, as usual. I'm going to be honest, I'm feeling, I'm feeling this game, and I feel like I'm probably going to keep playing this until I beat it, unless something comes up. So, yeah, I'm going to say Tuesday, probably a good chance we continue. Uh, till then, thanks for uh, sticking around anybody's here. Goat Llama, it was, uh, it was nice uh, being able to chat with you as uh, I got blown up multiple times. Like, I honestly, I don't think multiple times does it justice how many times we died. In fact, hold up a second. I'm going to check something real quick.
Hold up. Ah, all right. I forgot the volume's loud. Okay, that was on me. All right. Let's bump that down. Oh, I also just realized we crashed a bunch at the beginning, but then, like, none other times in the stream. Anyways, how many deaths we got? 669! Let's go! I started the stream with, like, 200-something, so we died a lot this stream. <laughs> but, uh... Wait, do I have to kill eight people? Uh-oh. I don't like how there's how the squares are lined up there. <laughs> okay, anyways. Uh, take care. Hope you have a good rest of your day, night, evening, whatever time it is for you. And I hope to see you at the next stream. Goodbye. <laughs>